If you're new to the jQuery JavaScript library, one of the first things you may want to know is how to select an HTML element using its ID or class name. Luckily, element selection with jQuery is fairly simple. To demonstrate this, I've created a very basic page containing three div elements which use both IDs and class names. Let's open Google's JavaScript console by pressing Control shift j and go over to the Elements section so we can view the document structure. After expanding the div element in the body section, we should see the other two div elements nested inside of it. Now that we understand the current document layout, we can go back to the console section and begin writing our code. First, let's select a div based on its ID. Traditionally in JavaScript, this code would look like the following. Document dot get element by ID. Open parentheses, single quote, single quote, closing parentheses, semicolon. We would then type in the desired ID in between the single quotes. In this case, it's main container. When we press enter, this code will return an object containing the properties of the selected element. To do the same thing in jQuery, we would write the code like this. Dollar sign, open parentheses, single quote, single quote, closing parentheses, semicolon. The div ID will again need to go in between the single quotes. There is one important thing to remember here. jQuery uses CSS selectors in their code, so we must include the appropriate selector immediately after the opening single quote. Since we're selecting an element by ID, we need to use the pound sign, also known as the number or hash sign. Let's press enter and we should see similar results to the traditional JavaScript code. The main difference between the two outputs is the fact that the traditional code returns an object and the jQuery code returns an array containing the same object. So if we want to access the object itself, we need to specify the array index which contains the object. In this case, the object is in the first element of the array, so we would modify the previous code to look like the following. Now when we execute the code, we will be accessing the object itself. Selecting HTML elements by class name is slightly different. The traditional JavaScript code looks like this. Document.getElementsBy class name, open parentheses, single quote, single quote, closing parentheses, semicolon. And now we would enter the desired class name. After executing, the code will return an array of objects containing all HTML elements that match the specified class name. So in order to access the object properties of a given element, we need to specify the desired array index. Since we only have two elements that matched our class name, we can enter an array index of 0 or 1. For jQuery, we will write the exact same code used to select an element by ID, except we will change the CSS selector to the dot or period character. Again, this will return an array of objects that match our class name. If we want a specific element, we would simply add an array index to our code. At this point, we know how to use the jQuery library to select HTML elements. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below if you're watching this on YouTube. And as always, thanks for watching.